When Rhode Islanders head back to the polls this November, one of the big issues on the ballot will be whether to allow Newport Grand to transform from a slot parlor into a full-fledged casino. Now, a new study suggests the change could have a big impact on the local economy. Iowa News reporter Susan Campbell joins us now from Newport with the details that are new at five. That new study predicts $40 million worth of renovations here will save nearly 200 jobs, create about 800 new ones, and spur economic growth throughout this city and state. Real estate developer Joe Paolino wants to pump $40 million into Newport Grand to create a complex complete with table games, a spa, and an entertainment venue. I want people to have a wow effect about it. And now a new study conducted by local economist Dr. Edward Mazzi says the proposed investment would save 187 existing jobs and create 764 new ones during and after construction. The study also notes the $40 million project would create $50 million in economic activity in the state. Paolino says the results of the study were even better than he expected. We're really excited about this and the influx of dollars that's going to go to Newport. I think it's just going to be incredible. I don't think they've seen a development like this. But that development won't happen unless voters say yes to table games at Newport Grand. Opponents of the proposal recently appeared on executive suite. Rhode Island is already far too dependent on gambling. To put a casino or to expand casino gambling in Rhode Island would just make you that much more vulnerable to the decline that's now beginning to happen around the country. According to the study, Newport currently receives about $450,000 each year from Newport Grand's video lottery terminals. As you recall, in 2012, Newport voters rejected a plan to bring table games here to Newport Grand. In Newport with the Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.